Hi everyone, it's Hern here. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we are going to be making some beautiful mini coffee cups and the holder that it goes into. So let's jump straight in. Now these are so cute and dinky, just these adorable little coffee cups here. Now this is actually made using my ice cream die. So you can make ice creams and little coffee cups. It's absolutely perfect for Valentine's Day. And I'll also be making a Mother's Day version today as well, because for us, that is next month. So inside I have some little chocolates. And if you can find any chocolates that are smaller than this, you're gonna be able to fit some more sweets in there. Jelly beans are going to be perfect for that. So let's jump straight in to getting everything die cut out. And then I'll be showing you exactly what you need to do next. So I've already got here some free downloads i will leave the link for these papers down below beautiful valentine's day love themed mother's day it's gonna be perfect for that that is a free download from craft world and i will leave that linked down below so the base is made from the picnic basket and the ice cream um coffee cup thing is made from the ice cream cone love this set it's so versatile i just love finding new ways to do things with my dies right so let's do a cutting guide because I've already cut everything out and now I'll be showing you how to put it together. So this is the main piece here. So you need one of those. You need one pink circle and one small pink circle and one little white circle as well. And then we have this long piece here. That's going to be the cup lid. And then I have a cover here to uh, do a mat for the cup as well right so let's get assembling now there's no score line along here because if there was you'd be very tempted to um, fold it and that would ruin the shape of the cup so there's no score line but there is a little notch there um, I'm gonna grab some tape let's see what I have left yep uh, this one that one looks good so a bit of tape is going to be much easier to use alongside your glue to get your cup to kind of stay where it is because it's curved it's going to want to spring back open again just grabbing my bone folder here and i'm just going to press this down right into the fibers take that off and then i'm just going to curve this and then I'm also going to individually fold these back just like so. There we go. Right. I'm going to add some glue now. I'm almost at the end of my book binding glue, so I do have another one ready to go. I'm not sure if it's back in stock yet, but I'll make sure that everything that I'm using today is listed down below because you could be watching this in a year's time and it'll all be back in stock. Right, so all we're going to do now is just bend this around, matching up those notches. I'm just gonna gently press that along. See the tape now is holding that in place and um, the glue is now starting to dry and set and it's the glue that's gonna keep it there for the long term. Okay, so now we're gonna pop all of these in and go back to our glue. I'm having to keep it in a cup. It's a lot easier keeping this upside down when, it's, um, when you've just got a little bit left in the bottom. And I'm just gonna add some more now to my little circle. I'm gonna put another little circle on the inside, but I'm gonna make sure I get a lot of glue around the perimeter there pop that on and then turn it over and this will actually give our bottom actually a bit more shape so you might want to put this one in first I can 
and just move that over. There we go, that's a much better shape. Okay, now we have our cup base done. I'm just going to add the mat to that now. And again, just give that a bit of a curl to take the shape of the cup. Now this one doesn't go all the way around. I'll explain why. It was a design decision. Um, this is quite a large sizable die so everything has to be tucked in during the design process so that it uses most of the um, the die sheet that it comes out of um, to the to a you know a good extent so this is the die here used for the mat so this had to be nesting ideally I would have liked this to be a little bit longer but it has to nest inside these dies and there was nowhere else on there that this could have gone so that is why we do have that little bit of a gap um, I just think explaining those little things like that as part of the design process um, does actually kind of help people understand how decisions are made and everything it's, it's not something that you would um, normally know about so I don't mind passing on those little snippets there on how things were decided and then we're just going to pop this on. I'm going to start with the seam here because that's going to kind of hide some of the seam. And then wrap that around. And then you will have to kind of hold this in place as well because it's not a flat surface, it's curved. But this glue does dry pretty fast. Just keep pressing that down. Okay, that is our pretty little cup taking shape right keep that lid on moving over now to the cup lid I'm just going to individually fold these back now these top sections here are for this circle to fit on and I've decided to go for um, a pink version of this I just think that might add a bit more contrast and interest because all we're seeing over the top here is just the white so I want to break that up a little bit so I'll do a pink top and then a white notch at the top there so these little sections here helps to keep the cup lid on securely I'll lift these up here there we go. These little things here it help keep this on snugly. This is a very, very similar to design to my coffee cup. Unfortunately, that has sold out, but um, I absolutely love that one. But it's very, very similar design. Right, so I'm going to be using some red tape to help me with this one. So I think I'm going to go for this one. I'll give you some measurements. These are sold in millimetres, so I'll give you the measurement in millimetres. It is nine millimetres. And this is a curved surface as well, so we're just going to go around. Just do our best to get the contact on every little um, tab. You may end up with a few bubbles, but that's fine. We're going to squish these down with a bone folder and as you can see I'm putting this on the outside part not the underside there is a reason for that because if I was to run this through on the inside and add my circle to the inside you will get this gap here you see that little gap there if we do it this way you will not get that gap And again, there's no score line here because even I would be tempted to fold that and then regret it. So let's push all of this down. No adhesive is needed on these bottom tabs here. Now this does also come with a mat die if you wanted to mat the top as well. Actually, I might do that on these here, just to break up that colour. 
right there we go and I'm just going to add a little bit of tape here just here I'm going to go for a skinny mini And then I'm going to start off clearing the space because this could go all over as we're trying to get this on. So we're going to start off with the first one and then we're going to curve this around just like that. I'm right handed so I'm keeping, I don't, I don't even know if right hand or left hand makes sense. but. I find this the most comfortable way of getting this on and around. And then before we get too close to this edge here, I'm going to take this tab off, add a bit of glue, it's absolutely fine to add glue to that area over the uh, adhesive. I should have started the other side, so I'm just going to gently lift this up. Just a bit of glue there to fix our boo boo. There you go. That's a nice, neat, fixed boo boo, that is. And there we have the top of our cup done. So let's fold all of these in. Gosh, if I was doing that live on TV, that would have gone absolutely wrong. <laughs> Definitely, I would have got an abnormal heart rate on my watch there. My watch would not have liked that whatsoever. Okay, so let's move on to the next stage now. So let's pop this on there. That should just close in the first time it does need a little bit of a squeeze just to get that on there but it does mean that that lid is on i think i quite like that with the um the different colored top okay so we need another circle now this circle isn't in the die set but you can get a circle from a circle punch um you can do it on an electronic machine if you have like a cricket or a silhouette um or um a punch did i say punch um ne nesting die set that would be the third option okay so i'm actually going to have a white top but i'm just going to use the other side of my printer paper i have a one and three quarter inch punch here let's punch that out and then i'm going to use the underside for that i will list the paper or the card that i print on as well as leaving the link for the free papers they're from simply made no simply cards and paper craft magazine 246 but i will leave you the exact link in the description box you do need to be a craft world member which is free and there is a plethora of free downloads over there for you to choose from. Okay, I'm going to grab my big scissors now and then I'm just going to cut a little notch off just like so. I'll turn that over so you can see it because it's quite bright. And then I'm going to get my cropper dial, use a hole punch if you don't have one of these. I'm going to go for the larger hole which is 3 16 of an inch. Pop my little hole in. I'm going to stick this up onto some 3D foam. I'm going to be wary of where my back seam is. And then I've put that on the wrong way, haven't I? I don't think I'll be able to take that off. Oh, I might be able to. No, I won't. Okay, we're going to have a coloured top. But if you wanted a white one, remember. Okay, I think that looks okay, actually. Let me know in the comments. Would you have preferred that to be white 
all coloured. I actually think that adds to the theme. I'm going to match up my seams at the back there. And there we go. So there's loads of different ways that you can decorate this. On these two, I have taken some cutouts. There's more cutouts here from the paper pack download. There's this lovely design here that I've taken to uh, cutting out and then putting those on so you can add some extras there and there's also that comes in the same download some extras as well so we have sentiments sayings and images 